Those who have battled alcoholism know that feeling. Years of sobriety and then one moment changes everything. For a Catherine, North Dakota native, one bad day at work, a stop at a bar, and a shotgun nearly cost him his life. We do want to tell you a few of the pictures in this story may be unsettling to some of you, and suicide is discussed. Our story tonight from WDAY News reporter Kevin Wallavand. Life seemed to be going so well for Monty and Marion Ecker. Monty, who grew up on this farm near Catherine, North Dakota, loved to travel around the Midwest. But one year ago, Monty, who had been sober 10 years, says he had a bad day at work, an argument with a co-worker. Monty later saw that co-worker's car at a bar, and so he stopped to apologize. That's the minute his life changed. I wound up having a couple of drinks myself, a couple of too many. After those drinks, Monty, so upset that he'd broken his sobriety, was worried his marriage was over. He drove home, distraught. One thing led to another, and I grabbed the shotgun and pulled the trigger. Nobody else was home at the time. I don't know why I did it. I still have no idea why I did it. A son-in-law found him. So I thought he was dead at first. Monty was airlifted to a trauma center. I coded. He coded, uh, and my son and daughter told him, told them to... Um, resuscitate him and they asked him how many times and they said as many as it takes because we're not going to tell our mom he's gone. In the past year, Monty has been dealing with multiple surgeries and the loss of his sight. He has prosthetic eyes, catastrophic injuries to his face. But the drinking and the guns didn't mix. Pretty much when he shot himself, he had the gun under the chin. So everything from his chin up is gone. The, Somehow he got no brain damage and his um, cheekbones weren't damaged. It was like, like God was present. Now, a message from a survivor who urges those struggling. No matter what, ask for help. It'll talk to somebody. And after a year of recovery? First, we had to do a lot of pushing because he... He said he didn't want people staring at him, and I told him it doesn't matter because you can't tell if somebody's staring at you or not. Monty is getting out more. If I could stay one life, just, just one life. Willing to share his story, mindful of what could have been. I, I feel now that I have meaning to my life. Kevin Wallivan, WDAY News. If you or someone you know is struggling, you can call the Suicide Crisis Hotline at 988. What a powerful message. Yeah.